So we have our feminist attackers, Samantha Allen and Leon Lambert, both claiming that the Sarkeesian effect is just some way to personally attack her. They feel like there is no constructive criticism of Anita because they fail to see it, and therefore have the right to censor. It's funny on how feminists work. You can make a t-shirt saying, I hate Jack Thompson, but you can't make a flash game about beating up Anita, and you can't make a document film about the social justice warriors. I am here to make a quick video about this topic. Now, the first thing that I noticed is that they're complaining about how these two guys, these these uh, two cisgender white men, you know, are personally attacking Anita Sarkeesian. And, you know, the fact that there are two cisgender white men somehow negates the notion that... Hold on, let me just increase the light. There we go. You know, somehow means that we should disregard what everything, everything that they have to say. They have no constructive criticism. They're just here to bash Anita Sarkeesian. When you can, you guys can participate in this video. You can voice out your opinion about this stuff. That is the point of the documentary. Um, and, you know, I'm pretty goddamn sure that if it was two cisgender white women or... You know, just about anyone, then you'll just feel sorry for them that, you know, you just look down upon them and like, oh my god, these poor fools. Don't they know that they're fighting against equality? Us feminists, we are gods! We are freaking gods! Yes, that's how you feminists act, and you deny it completely. And, you know, they claim that this is some sort of personal attack. You know, that is not true. This is a documentary, and you know, I am tired of people like Anita Sarkeesian and everyone else who think that because you're a cisgender white man, you know, you have no voice, you can't voice, you know, you can't voice against the feminist movement. Apparently, every, almost every feminist out there will silence you if you oppose them because Feminists think that there are some sort of a special group of people that shouldn't be op shouldn't be opposed for any sort of reason. That they're right. That they're right. We're wrong. Therefore, they're right. That's how it goes in the feminist mind. Like I stated before, you won't say anything about. Um, say the likes of Jack Thompson who received so much hatred. There's t-shirts about him. There's video games about this guy. But if it's your supreme su super supreme evangelical feminist hero Anita Sarkeesian, if there's even a negative comment about her that somehow she's being superly oppressed, that she is you know, you know we should pity her, that she is some sort of goddess. She's, she's going to save the freaking world. This is the major hypocrisy with feminists today. And, you know, I heard rumors that Anita Sarkeesian was, you know, um, attacked by a group of people. You know, and, you know, I don't support that shit at all. But I do find it hard to believe. But I do not support, you know, trying to harm Anita Sarkeesian in a physical way. All these guys are doing are trying to have their voices heard. Because people like yourself are trying to censor them. I mean, not... You, you, you guys know that I'm talking about... I'm talking about the feminists who are, you know... Who just disregard everything everything that every man who opposed feminism has to say and you know the media such as 2020 and I think uh, ABC News I think no 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 I think it's TMNT I mean not TMNT TNT you know they're siding with Anita they they're listening to her side of the story while avoiding our side of the story because there's only apparently a feminist should have more respect than anyone else that is the that is the mindset of that of a feminist 
Let's see, what else am I missing? I, I, let me just check around to see I'm on my laptop. Uh, because I know I'm missing something. Okay, um, I'm going to read part of this. Um, part from Liam Lambert's um, documentary. I mean, not documentary. His um, article. He, um... All right, I'll, I'll read this part. In their Patreon video, Owen and Onani or, or, or Rooney claim that to be fighting for the rights of criticize those who seek to make money from social justice movement. Okay, I can almost see that being a fair point. But when your job is, say, being a writer or content creator focused on gaming and tech, isn't that sort of your job? Uh... Yeah, I suppose, but... Who's to say that, um, that he can't do this? That he can't make a documentary film about Anita Sarkeesian? What, do you just expect him to just sit, you know, just lie down on his belly and just uh, allow Anita Sarkeesian just walk on top of him? Because that's the coin, that's what, that's you in your mind. That's, that's what should, everyone should do. Lie on their backs and let Anita Sarkeesian walk on top of them. Let's see, where was I? You make money discussing all aspects of culture. Isn't it far worse to seek funding for a project designed to attack and insult those who are trying to make gaming and tech spaces for everyone? I doubt that Anita Sarkeesian is trying to make everything, you know, everything better for gaming. Because there's really nothing else to improve. If anything, she just wants video games based on what she likes. Seriously, there are so many double standards that Anita Sarkeesian has said, it's not even funny. I lost count of this shit. Let's see. And no, they're not trying to attack or insult her. You might disagree with the way in which Anita Sarkeesian used crowdfunding to buy games, and you might dislike the quality of her videos, but to blame her for shutting out criticism when most of them came from disgusting rape threats is pretty pathetic. So somehow that somehow negates the fact that, you know, there's actually constructive criticism. Like, you know, we should just ignore the constructive criticism and just lop them together to the amount of hatred. The lack of self-awareness on display here is incredible, though. One of these guys hopes to get money by wearing a black suit, smoking a cigarette, and drinking scotch while he's grinning smugly with his leather armchair. If you want to come across as the good guys, don't dress like the modern ver film version of the devil himself. Uh, funny that Anita Sarkeesian would dress like super fancy and complain about how super fancy the girls are. I mean, who are you to dictate on what a man should dress anyway? I've written about this kind of thing a lot, and it started to get pretty tiresome explaining the small number of people what everyone else in 2014 already understands. Oh really? People of different genders, orientations, sexualities, religion, and nationalities, etc. are all fine and they should be able to feel free to enjoy the things that straight white guys can. They already have! It's people like yourself who can't enjoy video games until somehow we magically turn them into a video game for you, personally. Or a game for feminists. Games are amazing, and so are people. So let's all enjoy games together, regardless of those minor differences that some people believe separate from us. <coughs> In regards to the film, though, I'm fully aware that this post will raise awareness of the project, for better and for worse. Some of us are attempting to report the film so for the use of copyright images on this poster. There is no copyright, they're not violating any uh, copyright laws. Anita Sarkeesian is a public figure, so you can do this shit. Uh, let's see. So that's something you can do if you want to get rid of it. Part of me actually wants to see it funded in May, if anything, to see what sort of thin arguments these guys come up with to defend their assholery. Oh, you know, I would love to see you make a review of this movie. I would really want to. If you do not, if you do one thing, though, take the time to pity these guys for their smug, ex exclusionary attitudes and hope that they become a better person, 
I mean, they become better people from their mistakes. What mistakes? The mistake of opposing Anita Sarkeesian, the oppo opposing your s feminine god? I mean, this is just plain pathetic. Seriously. Uh <coughs> 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 now feminists are resorting to... I mean, I sort of knew that feminists would, you know, try their very best to censor a project like this because they know that they cannot deal with any form of criticism. This movie, I really do hope that it's, it, 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 excuse me, it comes, it comes out of theaters and comes out of DVD, so that way I can own one and look at this, and then people will know the true story of Anita Sarkeesian. Anita Sarkeesian will not be the special princess that's immune to criticism. Anita Sarkeesian will be exposed as this big, fat liar. And that we have the very right to oppose Anita Sarkeesian, to criticize her work without being shut down by the feminists like yourself. I mean, I'm talking to Liam, not, not my fans, by the way. Liam, people like yourself are trying to censor people because you can't handle criticism. You're afraid of criticism, and you always will be. Till then, I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the game out. Hey everyone, this is the Atheist Gamer here. Uh, I'm just here to make a quick update. I decided that, you know, I should start making YouTube intros for people like Anis, I mean, not Anis, Sarkeesian, Warcorp666 and the Sarkeesian effect. And, you know, I'm really wishing that I can, you know, be a part of this project so that way I can, you know, assist Join Owen in any way that I can. And, you know, hopefully I'll be a part of this movie because, you know, I really have something to say about Anita Sarkeesian that I've been imposing feminism since, you know, last year. So, um, you know, I was thinking that, you know, seeing that I have the talents to make a YouTube intro, uh, I figured that, you know, if someone on the internet needs an intro, you know, just a swift and easy intro, then, you know, I can start making money from that. You know, so if you need a, a YouTube intro, um, you can contact me and um, we'll start, you know, making that YouTube intro that you want under the fee of one dollar. You know, yes, you can get this nice looking intro for just one freaking dollar. So, you know, uh, just follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and, you know, subscribe to this channel. That is all I have to say.